Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and this is how to green screen using the Blackmagic Design ATEM Mini Pro, which is right over there, with full motion video green screen backdrop. So before I continue, I wanna remind everyone you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find all the equipment like I use. But for starters, let me show you my setup and then I'm gonna explain how to do all this. So first of all, that's my MacBook Pro and that's my green screen set. You know, I've got the green screen well lit. And again, you can find all this equipment linked in this video's description. Then over here, I have my ATEM Mini Pro. And it's connected by way of internet or by way of network cable to the internet. So this is my standalone streaming. I don't have to stream through the laptop. I just stream directly from my ATEM Mini Pro to the, uh, you know, to YouTube Live in my case. Keep in mind that you've got to get ATEM Mini Pro if you want to be able to stream directly from the ATEM. The lesser version will not allow you to stream from the network port. So just a few, and I've got extra cables plugged in, but for this purpose, I'm going to explain what I'm using. So cable number one, that cable, HDMI one, goes to my Sony Alpha camera, which I can use my shotgun mic or my lavalier mic. So my audio comes from the microphone that's attached to my camera. My camera's attached to HDMI one. So that's camera one on ATEM Mini Pro. Camera four is another HDMI cable. Camera four connects to this down here and I've got it hidden out of the way. That's a, an Apple TV. So looking at what's referred to as multi-view, there's my green screen set. That's camera number one. And you know, camera number one has my microphone attached to it. Camera number four is here. That is my Apple TV. And this is a video playing on my Apple TV that I filmed on Pinnell Island in the uh, French West Indies. Now, part of when I travel, I collect a ton of, uh, of very still videos for the purpose of using for upcoming, you know, royalty free, well not royalty free, they're, they're backdrops that I own that I filmed. <laughs> so, you know, just a great background for a green screen. So what I've done, and we're gonna go over to the laptop and I'll show you, but that's continuously looping through the Apple TV. So over here, I'll log back in here. Don't want y'all to see my password because I don't trust y'all. Oops, I mistyped my password anyway. Here we go. Ooh, it's not letting me in. Hold, hold on one second here. The technical difficulties here with my password. Not good, not good. We're going to get in. Okay, there we go. So I'm back in. So what I have here is QuickTime Player. And you can see it's, it's playing, it's counting up. So I'm gonna back out of this. See, now you can see I've got it running there, but I'm gonna stop this video. And see, now you can see it's paused. And then I'm gonna quit and boom, it's out. Back at Apple TV. So how do I do this? First of all, I recommend having a video that's 1080p, and I would recommend the settings I use. I do uh, 1080p uh, Apple devices best quality is a setting I use in compressor. So I've got that video file here. So I double click it. That's my backdrop that I filmed. And then I go here to where it's got the little icon. It looks like a little TV. I click that. I do Office Apple TV, so that's what I named it. And see now you can see it's popped up up there. Before I hit play, I go to view. And after I do view, I do loop. And then I reconfirm this loop, it is. And then I click play here. Make sure it's playing, make sure that's counting. Uh, and see it is six, seven, and see now when I go back over here to my 
to my multi view, I can see the camera four, which is my which is my Apple TV. And you could rename these if you wanted to, but I just like to remember it as camera numbers. So there's my Apple TV. Here's my studio set while where I'll sit. Here's what the viewers are currently seeing. So the viewers now are just seeing that. So how do I take me in front of the green screen and place myself in front of that backdrop that's continuously looping? Here's how you do it. And if you were like me in the beginning when you were researching Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro, you were probably concerned that, at least with the current version, you couldn't just drag video files into the device. You could only do still images. Not a problem. So here's why. So we're going to expand our ATM software control. It's important that you use the software. Preview is camera one, which is fine. That's me in front of green screen. Program camera four. Camera four is Apple TV that's playing that background video. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into palettes, chroma, and then you want to select your fill source. Your fill source is your face on video in front of green screen. So that's camera one for me. I'm going to select chroma sampling. You've got this box here and you can drag it around. Also, you can make it larger or smaller. So what I do, I and again, this may differ depending upon how perfect your green screen is. But I like to make it about that size and drag it to the bottom right. Very hard to see in this video, but I'm going to zoom in so you can maybe possibly see it. See that box I'm moving around now? I put it in the very bottom right. So that's detecting the color of my green screen. So I've done that. After I've done that, then what I want to do is go here to where it says next transition on air and then key one. So see now what you can see, you can see me in my chair, but I've got the, uh, the green screen backdrop the full motion video playing. Now, if you want to take it to the next level, what you can also do, if you want to have a lower third, you know, your branding, you can go into uh, media and you can add your lower third. In my case, it says Irish Guys Live Show and it's got a little satellite dish and my logo. So I put that there. I also drag that over here. So put it there, drag it there. Go back to your switcher tab. And then on your switcher tab, keep everything else like it is, but go over here to the right where it says DSK, which stands for downstream keyer, and click on air. Now check this out. So now what I've done is I've taken, and that, that green kind of changed because I walked off set. So apologize for the quality there. It's just because I moved around and, and did that. But you can see I've got my... My lower third, which says Irish Guys Live Show, says IrishGuy.com, Irish Guys Adventure Channel logo, and in a little satellite dish. And that is, uh, that's a 1920 by 1080 PNG image, which has, has a transparent background. When I sit back at my desk over there, that's the preview. That's me in front of the green screen. This is program. This is what the viewers see in the top right. And then, uh, you know, and then, this right here, the, see the red border around camera four, the red border around camera one, and the red border around the media image, which is my PNG. That shows that all three of those elements, so camera four, which is Apple TV, camera one, which is my Sony Alpha camera with mic, and, and the media, which is my PNG file, that shows that all of those are in use as part of this live show. So... See, now when I'm back over here, everything's perfect. Look at that. So I'm on my own little island, chroma key. The beauty of this is that the ATEM Mini Pro, it's over there on my desk, is handling all the streaming, thanks to the ethernet cable. It's handling the chroma keying. It's handling, you know, the, the lower third that's in the foreground and the, and the, uh, you know, the video is playing in the background, handling all of that. So all that I'm doing on my laptop is just using the very lightweight ATEM software control interface that's communicating with my ATEM Mini Pro by way of my network.
So if you're looking, if you're looking for the absolute best live streaming solution on the market today, this is it. And I know this may have seemed like a lot of steps, but once you've done it for the first time, man, I mean, this is, you know, this is, this should become second nature. I mean, it's just super user friendly, but yes, you can green screen, you can chroma key using Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro using full motion video clips. Even though those full motion video clips are not stored directly in the Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro, like still images are, you know, you're using video thanks to another, uh, thanks to another HDMI input. And keep in mind, I'm using Apple TV as my HDMI input just because I use a Mac and I'm able to use, you know, play to Apple TV and loop is convenient for me. But that video source that functions as your green screen backdrop, again, in my case, camera number four, that video source could be any sort of compatible HDMI. It could be a video game console. Um, you could run a cable into your, uh, you know, into your computer, a monitor cable, and and just have people see your computer's desktop. I mean, there's so many different options. So it's, it's very cool. Um, but I hope this video helped. If it did, be sure to like this video, subscribe. Uh, support me on Patreon if you want to, patreon.com forward slash irix guy i'm an independent youtube channel so you know all of your all of your con contributions help and you know most importantly be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon to be notified whenever i post another video and i've got a lot more atm mini pro tutorial videos in the works if there's a particular topic that you'd like to see me address just comment below and i'll add it to my to-do list and try to post a video as as soon as i can but really great piece of equipment if you're looking for any of this equipment expand this video's description, and then click the link there and you can find where to order it all online. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Good luck with your live streams. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.